Hi, welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to see how to install Codex to Windows XP. Open your favorite browser and in the Google search, you can type installing video codecs in Windows XP. Scroll down and click on Xvid Video Codex Scene and Download. You'll be directed to this page wherein you can read the review of this and its properties. Right now, I can click on Download Now. Towards bottom left, you could see Xvid 1.3.2 some number.exe. It is of 10.3 MB and it's getting downloaded. The file got downloaded. You'll be seeing an icon over here. X. Click here, open. Let me minimize this stuff. You'll be left with this window. Click run. You'll be seeing an XVID codec in the language you prefer to do this setup. Click OK. A setup wizard has been started. Click next. You need to accept the agreement. Click here and next. Choose the location. It's going to default location. Click next. You can opt for either one or two. One, yes, automatically notify me when updates are available. Or no, I want to check my updates manually. So let me check the second one. It is more manual. Click next. What kind of media players do you want to install? Divex, 3IBX, or other MPGV4? So let me choose Divex. This is the one I'm familiar with. If you can try out the other two and leave comments below. I would be very happy and helps to the viewers. Click next. You can click on the last next button. You'll be getting a warning like Xvid Mini Convert will run only in a featured restricted mode. You can see the reason is your installed version of Windows Media Player is too old to make full version use of. We need to upgrade to version 11 or higher. Anyway, we are going to do that in our next video. So click OK and let the installation proceed further. That's it. You'll be seeing a completing message from the setup wizard. You can view the README file or you can uncheck this and click finish button. Now the installation process completed. To open that, go to start menu, all programs, Xvid and Xvid Mini, Converter or any other applications over here. You can even check for updates manually since we have unchecked the information on there or uninstall it right from here if you want to configure or encoder you can do this stuff for more details you need to check my other videos which are going to come in the future this is Kiran signing off have a good day you can subscribe to this channel right here